Hi there and welcome to this day in history for February 16th. February 16th is the 47th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar with 318 days remaining to the end of the year, 319 in leap years. Today's word is gambit. Gambit is a noun that means a chess opening in which a player risks one or more minor pieces in order to gain an advantage in position or a remark intended to start a conversation or make a telling point or a calculated move. The word gambit first appeared in English in a 1656 chess manual with almost 100 illustrations of gambets, a term that has roots in Spanish and Italian. Originally from a word that meant leg, it was first used to refer to tripping someone in order to gain an advantage, as in wrestling. In this ancient chess manual, gambit was a term used to describe a chess opening in which the bishop's pawn was purposefully sacrificed or tripped in order to gain an advantage in position. Now used to describe a variety of other chess openings, the term gambit has branched out from the confines of the game of chess and now also means any move, literal or symbolic, made to gain an advantage. Although such actions can be risky, gambit is not the same as gamble, which we're pretty sure comes from the Old English word gammon, G-A-M-E-N, which means amusement, jest, or pastime, and is also the source of the word game. Isn't the evolution of language interesting? <laughs> gambit. And with that, we're going to start with the birthday of a man named Henry Leland, born February 16, 1843. He was an American engineer and businessman. He founded Cadillac and Lincoln, our luxury car lines. He lived to the age of 89. On February 16, 1923, English archaeologist and Egyptologist Howard Carter unsealed the burial chamber of Pharaoh Tutankhamun often referred to as the Boy King, which is interesting to me considering some of what we've discovered in this day in history with underage youths and children inheriting thrones, even as babies like Mary Queen of Scots who became queen as an infant when she was only six days old, or Henry III who became king at the age of nine. There are others of course, but we're talking about King Tut today. He was born in 1342 B.C. and began his reign in 1334 B.C. when he will have been about eight years old. Now, I don't know how much we really know about his rule in terms of what he may have accomplished as a ruler, but we do know that Tutankhamun died in 1325 B.C. when he will have been about 18 or 19. He was mummified, of course, and buried with that stunning golden gemstone adorned mask, which suggests to me that he was well regarded among his people. This is the birthday of Sonny Bono, born February 16, 1935. He was an actor and singer and politician. Most of us became aware of Sonny Bono as part of the musical team Sonny and Cher. Sonny died in a skiing accident in 1998 when he was 62 years old. The Alaska Equal Rights Act of 1945 was signed into law on February 16, 1945. This was the first anti-discrimination law in the United States. On February 16, 1961, Explorer 9 was launched. This was a satellite launch to study the density and composition of Earth's upper and lower atmosphere. The first 911 emergency telephone system went into service on February 16, 1968, in Haleyville, Arkansas. Interesting day for firsts, isn't it? Well, we have a last, too. The last Mobile Army Surgical Hospital, MASH was decommissioned by the United States Army on February 16, 2006. Today's song is I Got You Babe by Sonny and Cher in honor of the late Sonny Bono's birthday. This was a single from their 1965 debut studio album, Look At Us. The story on this song is that Sonny wrote and composed the song late one night 
and his inspiration for it was kind of an opposite view of Bob Dylan's rather bitter song, It Ain't Me, Babe. He woke Cher up to sing, and she hated it, <laughs> didn't think it would go anywhere, and went back to bed. Recorded and released in the summer of 1965, I Got You, Babe became their biggest single and their signature song. Sold over a million copies, certified gold, and hit number one in the UK and Canada. I Got You, Babe by Sonny and Cher. Link in the description. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that is called, no really. <laughs> you can also find me on Rumble, Parlor, BitChute, and Gitter. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again and all. See you next time. Do not disturb. Okay. I turned do not disturb on. Good job. I would like to take a moment to encourage you to like that share button. <laughs> okay. January 2nd. The 16th. It's all written in Roman numerals, so I had to translate it. <laughs> Hopefully I got that pronunciation close. Yeah, Annie's ready to go. <laughs> Flinging happiness all over the place. All right, back to work.